Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam here from Belva Souls Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan! Do you know how I like Mars and space exploration? I was going to say, yes. you've got a thing for space. Uh, is this cool. is First Martians. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is a colonizing uh, Mars, I guess, board game. It's okay. a cooperative game. However, one cool thing about this is it has an app that goes along with it, and oh. it helps run the game. It's like one of those hybrid games. Exactly. Okay. Um, you don't play on the app, you play on the board itself, but the app kind of randomizes everything. Yeah. Uh, so it's a totally different game every single time because of that, and on top of that you have scenarios you can play and everything like that. So wow. uh, you are playing astronauts on Mars, of course, you are the first Martians, and you're just trying to make sure nothing fails, nothing uh, goes wrong. <laughs> Makes sense. That's the basic premise of it. So. You're trying to, trying to make it on Mars. Exactly. So. Alright, first Martians. Sounds like, a, sounds like a good time. Let's take a look inside. First Martians. All right, Evan, first Martians. I am ready to visit the Red Planet. Are you? Yes. I've been ready all my life. I mean, this is like our, I don't know how many Third Martians. time, fourth time visiting the Red Planet yeah. of the board games. But it's, it's different every single time. This is first Martians Adventures on the Red Planet. Yeah. Uh, flipping it over, it is a heavy game. There's yeah, a lot to there's it. There's a lot of stuff going on in that uh, So there are minis, uh, tiles we're going to have, uh, everything like that. And it looks like they actually do slide for different effects, too. So, so let's... Bust Let's it open. Dive into there Mars. is an app you can get. Uh, we'll show you in the rulebook what it's called. Actually, I don't think there is a rulebook. Uh, yeah, there is. Oh, rule this book. is. <laughs> wow. We'll okay. get to that later. Uh, but if you have the app, really, you don't need the rulebook too much. It's gonna, it's gonna clarify things and whatnot. Um, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so these books, which both say "Do not open or browse." This is uh, kind of a campaign book, or the R campaign book. So yeah, yeah. we're not going to spoil these at all. Just know that there are campaign books that you can play as an option for the game. Otherwise, you can also play scenarios, which are what these sheets are. There's two oh. different scenarios on each side. Um, and the app is really cool. Uh, and then this is... Landing. The solo, I can't... I think this might be more scenarios. More? Okay, even better. Um, so the app is really cool. It will tell you... I'll, you, you'll plug in how many players you're playing with, what scenario you're doing, and everything like that, and then it'll customize it to that. Um, mm. So, yeah. The scenarios are going to tell you the objective of the game, how to win the game, uh, how you can do it. This like looks that. like a lot of text, but that's why there's the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, envelopes. Uh, honestly, I don't know what these are for. I wouldn't open those. Contains additional info from... Do not open unless instructed. Yes. Yeah. So even cooler. Don't open so, these. So, so you can, there's something in them. Like yeah. There's like a card or something inside of these. We're not gonna open these. Yeah. Just because spoilers. But you get like four. Yes. Of these. That's really cool though. I mean. That, that is that's... very uh, thematic. Yes. It's, it's kind of like a legacy game. Like once you open. In, in it, a way, yeah. Like once you open that, that's that's all. But unlike a legacy game, you can still play with it. Yeah. After yeah yeah. So this is the board. This is a big board too. I'm gonna move things out of the way. Yep. Um. I wonder if you, yeah. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. This is a big board. Okay. Yeah. So, big let's, board did it. let's right. start with a corner at a time. Um, up in this corner right here, this is the turn order. Uh, these are six actions you can do in one round. Um, we'll go over that later on. And over here is the morale. Uh, that's very important, but also like the kind of like your life over here as well. Mm -hmm. General supplies, kind of your currency over here. Uh, if you look down here, this is kind of the home base. We're going to get sense. into it, but there is a mini for this home base. And there are also a mini for these two vehicles you can see over here. Um, and then you're going to be building right here. This side of the board, we're going to be putting down cards uh, that have little uh, blank spots that you can move things around in. Basically, it's kind of like your control panel. Uh, it's what you're monitoring and fixing. It's a cooperative game, so you're yeah, trying to... Yeah. You're, you know, so there's not somebody that's trying to set up to destroy the Martian base? No, unfortunately. That would make an awesome game. That would make though. a different... Uh, maybe you can uh, <laughs> change this game to make that a scenario. But, murder your co-pilot, yeah. <laughs> get away with murder. Uh, but, but you're the first Martian. Right. Yeah, you just want to be the first serial killer on Mars. That's, I don't. Oh man, that would be... Oh, trademark, don't, trademark, don't, don't steal, steal that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go on, let's go on to the box. What's the, what's the bottom of the board down here? Oh, yeah. Uh, research tracks. There is a research tree you can have uh, that add on, you know, benefits stuff like that. And then over here is going to have um, the malfunction block. 
don't remember what this does, so we'll figure it out. I bet it's not good. No, uh, well, if anything malfunctions, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. Unless your name is Mark Watney. Then you got it covered. The guy from the Martian. Oh, yes. Yeah. It took me a second. You, you had to explain Man, it. Amy, I want right. to point out something very... There's a little... Well, cut out oh, right there. Isn't that nice? Snap. Uh, you're only going to be using that once because you're going to punch oh, them out. I just want to say, though, like, we do a lot of unboxings. Oh, yeah. And when small things like that. Like, we notice and yeah, we appreciate it. We appreciate so, it. Publisher, thumbs up Thank for us. Thank you. Just Rene, for, er, this is this is nice. Thank you to... Uh, can't find the publisher name on the box. Yeah, but these are the tiles that you're going to be punching out, and it's going to create the board around the base. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can randomize it. Or no, it's ring one and two. Yeah, okay. so it's gonna be on the, you know, it's gonna be flipped over and then you're gonna flip it over as you go. So you're gonna be building a map every time. So not only are you building a map every time, the app is also randomizing everything. Um, it's a, I mean, there's a lot of replay value. Oh, yeah. Plus there are scenarios that if you haven't played before are really fresh, so. Shut down a bunch of extra tiles. Yeah. and. These are the tiles that are going to go on the board themselves. Okay, okay. Now, you, I don't know how well you can see in the camera, but they're, they're punched out, so you can have a little divot. Oh, put the pegs to put, there, yeah. uh, Well, they're going to be little cubes, uh, which is, I always enjoy that, because yeah, if yeah. you bump the table or anything like that, those... Your buddy Mac flips yeah. out and tries to exactly. the table. I know. So you have your farm, your, ooh, your oxygen, your uh, levels, and these are what you're going to oh. be monitoring and fixing. Oh, what did I do? What did you do? Oh, man. I guess I have to buy this game. Oh, no. <laughs> I think oh, you did no. that on <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Evan so loves Mars. I love Mars. So There's more, more to put panels, on. Yeah, yeah, more panels to put on. Yeah, so like again, that's just your control panel. What you're gonna be doing. Cool, cool. You have your little dice. Um, these three colored ones are gonna determine uh, malfunctions in the game. There's other ones that help you out throughout the game. Oh, we got the little uh, little minis. Minis. Yeah, you wanna crack those open? So yeah, you know, yeah. See what the detail on those are. Well, I keep going. I keep going. Uh, these are the Martians you can play as. Um, you can be a geologist, a scientist, a biochemist, a uh, rover operator, also a medic biologist, or an engineer mechanic. These, each people have different, um, uh, I guess, roles, or it's abilities, I guess you could say. And it does uh, determine different scenarios in the game as well. So, like, spend one life to get one heartbeat. Or one supply to get a heartbeat, yeah. Uh, so yeah, different abilities. Four to choose from, also punched out here, so you can have a tracker here. Okay. That's in the life of the person, so. Okay, real quick to the minis. We've got the uh, the base, which yes. is really cool. Yeah. So that's Which is a really cool thing. They didn't yeah. need to do this, but they put minis in. You got a rover. Yeah. You're driving around Mars in, and you have like a tow truck. Yeah. Which seems appropriate. They're, so. they're both rovers, yeah. Yeah, but this is like the speeder rover. Speeder, yeah. That's when you want to go, go fast. stunting. Yeah. <laughs> this is dune, when you, dune, this is dune. when you got to go pull the, the stunter out of a ditch. That's yeah. <laughs> Uh, these are going to be the decks of the cards. This one's going to have uh, the malfunction. Uh, there are three malfunction decks. There's the red, yellow, and orange. Depending on the severity of it. Yeah, exactly. Um, each game, too, you're going to start off with malfunctions. Like, Why? right Why off the bat. Just play with because, uh, you know, we're just <laughs> not perfect. We just we're not perfect, right. Adam. Why can't it go right? <laughs> this is also going to have just engineer mechanics. So these are going to be the skills uh, that the guys can do, uh, and girls. And. Um, don't actually know what that is. We'll find out. When we go through rules. We got uh, colored gym peg things. They're, yeah, little pegs. Those are from upgrades you can get. Okay. Yeah. We like those. And then hard these plastic are clear. The cool. cubes. Hard plastic here, clear as well. There's uh, green, blue, red, black, and clear. This kind of reminds me of Pandemic, which I know is a total tangent, but that's what these well, pegs are on me. Cooperative game as well. So there's something. I'm gonna take it out the bottom of the box and see if there's anything under there. I don't there. think there is anything I else doubt in it, here. But we, we, we always check. Yeah. Because of that one time when we found literally that stuff. one time. Yeah. All right. So there's nothing, nothing else in, the in there, but it's got these nice dividers. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's cool. So let's crack open the rulebook then. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pause real quick and then we'll come back with the rules. Here's the rulebook for First Martians. Uh, it is a bit big, yeah. But there it's is dense. an app. We'll We're show you in a second. Uh, <laughs> but it's twenty. Twenty-four pages. Well, uh, there's a lot of crap in the back. Twenty-one-ish uh, <laughs> pages. So uh, there is a bit to it, but it is a complex game. It's a one to two hour game. So yeah, this is not this is not a pick up in thirty minutes yeah. to play. This is like and a lot of it too afternoon probably. Yeah, there are different game modes too, and a lot of it is different game modes. So. Yeah. One and game mode is probably Don't forget, you can yeah. probably play through a whole campaign. Oh yeah. In an in a evening or whatever. So introductions goes the backstory and stuff like that. <clears throat> Your supplies, uh, what comes in the box? We just did that, so you really don't 
need to see much of there. The cards though, uh, there were the malfunctioning cards with the three different colors. The upgrade cards was the ones I didn't know what they were. Facility okay, cards, yeah. uh, double-sided profile cards, this kind of gives you an overview, a quick reference guide. Research cards, direction cards, and uh, AOM cards, automated operate, uh, operating machines. You get a certain amount of these depending on how many players you have, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I would play with all of them just because I Well, choose. that would make the game very easy. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. Goal of the game is very simple. It depends on what game mode you're playing. Uh, there are modes of play, as you can see over here. There mm -hmm. are the scenarios, then there are the campaigns. Campaigns have to do with those uh, envelopes. Okay. That's why you don't want to open those. They'll add things to the game. However, down here, the app. Now, the yes. app is supported on Google Play, App Store, but also the PC. So if you just have a laptop and you want to or put desktop, it there. whatever, yeah. Yeah, desktop, whatever. Uh, you can get the app. The app what, is, I would, what I would do is I would I would get a big TV screen, hook my computer up to that, and then run the app on that. You could do that, yeah. And use the TV screen as my game board too, just because I'm crazy. Well, I don't know if you could do that. I don't know. Because I don't know if the, the, app, does, <laughs> the app doesn't have a game board. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Smart thing in though. You yeah. want to just send them a letter. Yeah. So I know you've seen those plexiglass. <laughs> oh yeah, those are great. Game boards with a TV. Yeah, yeah. I may or may not be saving up for one. I'm just saying. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Anyway, so that is at uh, Portal Game www.portalgames.pl. Now this app is great. You really don't need the rule book. Uh, the app has the manual built in. Yeah. Up. So what it does is you'll plug in the, whether or not you're playing a scenario campaign, how many players, what astronauts you choose, all that stuff. Then it will set everything up for it. Yeah. You, you'll have a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the board. Literally, you'll have step one, press the arrow when you're done with that, step two, that kind of thing. Then during the gameplay, it kind of it's kind of like a game master. Mm -hmm. It runs the game for you uh, without being its own game, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a you supplement. Do, you do need yeah. the, the game board and all of the yeah. stuff, all the accessories. You cannot just play this game on the app. That's yeah. not what the app is for. The app is designed to integrate with the board game, which is why these hybrid games are so cool. So. Yes, exactly. So that's uh, very nice. Moving yeah. on. Astronauts you can play as. We already went through that. Uh, this is just kind of an overview of kind of the facilities. And we looked at the, the board. board. This is the big yeah, board. Yeah, so. that's just the game board. So keep moving. All right. Uh, setup. Again, if you get the app, you can skip that pretty much. <laughs> um, round overview. This is the most important part. So there are six things that happen in a round. Events, morale, production, actions, malfunctions, and cleanup. Uh, events, I mean, you're going to flip over an event card and it's going to move up a track, stuff like that. Morale is kind of kind of your life like each astronaut has his life but the morale is another life i guess you can say if it's getting bad then it's you're it's not... gonna make things difficult production it's basically your production uh yeah. output so yes you know what boosts morale is playing dd &D with your your, your yes D oh dnd on mars that'd be so yeah. cool oh, i just want to be a martian can we do that <laughs> uh the man's like take me as tribute all right uh, the first player is the one who resolves and blah, blah, blah. The first player is the first person who's been to Mars. Uh, the last person okay. who's been to Mars. Okay. Yeah, Fair so enough. I'll, I'll be first person. First person uh, who's volunteered to go to Mars. You, you can't play the game until you've been <laughs> to Mars. So, production, kind of overview of that. We can kind of skip, gloss over these real quick. And again, the rules are online too if you really want to deep dive yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Or go get the app and read those. Yeah, it is a cooperative game. You're just uh, kind of managing your resources. Um, I mean, it's really the game comes down to the special scenario. Oh, so yeah, it's, for sure. It's kind of hard. I mean, we're showing you everything that's in the book, but it's kind of hard to explain without going through the scenarios. And we don't want to do that to spoil the scenarios. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not going to spoil the those. Yeah. Of the game. So, um, so moving on, uh, what the dice situation is, what, what mm -hmm. it means, what the size means, stuff like that. Keep going. Keep uh, going. And this goes over more detailed parts of the actions that you can yeah. take in the game. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we can keep going. Here. Keep going. All right. Moving on. Moving on up, gameplay uh, actions, stuff like that. Well, again, like this is a lot of just clarifying yeah. than anything. Exactly. Clean up, malfunction. Clean the up. Malfunction phase. I don't even know why there has to be one. But uh, apparently well, when we play, you can just not have it, and then we'll just Sweet. win on turn two. That's what I'm talking uh, about, dude. And then Mars ending the game over here. Again, the game is totally dependent on the scenario or campaign you're playing. Yeah. That's really the big thing. But if you lose, at least one of the astronaut dies. Yeah, which so. is a thing that can happen. Yeah. Uh, you run out of time or fail to complete the mandatory mission objectives by the end of the mission, or you do not meet the threshold value at the end of the mission if uh, a mission requires a threshold. So, yeah. We can play a couple of different ways. Yes, there is a one to three player version, uh, which there is a one player version. So yeah. if you want to go solo, solo it, you can. Things. 
This kind of breaks down the campaign mode, which is the other mode you can do, and then there's just the FAQ. So like, there's a lot to this rule book, but FAQ can you know, it's breaking down the different modes and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a lot in the book. Yeah. But again, the app will assist you with that. Yeah. It'll, it'll walk you through a lot of these steps. And the game, it, you know. Player aid at yeah. the very back. So yeah, the, it's, it is a complex game. Yeah. But the hybrid aspect of it with the app and everything that makes it so it's not a overwhelming uh, exactly. complex game. So yeah. it looks like a lot of fun though. Yeah. I I'm, I'm, I'm want to go to Mars now. Let's, I'll let's call dibs. All right. Oh man. <laughs> Beat Evan. All right. <laughs> let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was First Martians. Man, you don't even need a rule book. Yeah. It's all I in mean, the app. The app literally, I, I, I love how it just step by step tells you how to set everything up and then how to play the game helps run the game itself um yeah yeah and you know honestly i was one of those people that was very skeptical of games with an app add-on like why do i even need the game then if i've got the app yeah but this is one of those games that you actually do want the board because of the way that the stuff yeah and it's around. a cooperative game and yeah. you, you want to have a physical thing you can look at and have yeah. everyone interact with the app is cool yeah. but and you do need it and it, but it's integrated really well yeah. with the board. Think of the app as a game master, not as yeah. like its own game. Right. You can't. Yeah. It wouldn't make much sense to just play or play on the app. Sure. So. Yeah. But yeah, this box, which I'm surprised is that small, uh, comes with a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. Good pieces, good quality pieces too. So For sure. Yeah. Uh, let's run some numbers on this one real quick sure. too. First Martians. Yes. Uh, what's the runtime of one of these About games? About one to two hours. So it is one of those not epic scale, but a little longer game. It's a good afternoon game. Yeah. And it was one to four players. So yep. You can play solo if you choose to. Right. Fourteen and up. Yeah. Um, and what's the price point? It's sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah, so. and that makes kind of makes sense with the yeah. amount of stuff in this. But box. the app is free, of course, yeah. so uh, you can get that as well. Matter of fact, if you just want to go download the app to check it out before you buy, yeah, you totally you should. definitely do that. Poke, so. poke around. Yeah, it's good stuff though. Yeah, uh, is this one brand new? Or brand new, just came out. Sweet. So yeah. it's in stores right now. Go check it out. I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragons Air Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Air Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.